This is KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guests today are from the upcoming Old Creamery Theater production of Winter Wonderettes. Say hi to Lindsay Klein and Katie Coletta. Ladies, nice to see you. Thanks for coming in today. Me too. Our pleasure. Thanks Thanks for having us. Show opens on the 17th of November. Yes. Who wants to to tell me about Winter Wonderettes? I'll do it. Go at it. Um, Okay, so Winter Wonderettes, um, it's about a 1960s girl group. um, And uh, these girls have been best friends since high school. And this is 10 years later. um, They're singing at um, the Harper's Hardware Christmas Holiday Party. Um, they are the fancy entertainment for the night. That's right. Um, so they're really on the very hard. To they're get really on the A list. Yes, yes, yes. The <laughs> it's a big li- time. The big tour. <laughs> but they take it very seriously, um, and so they uh, they're they're there to provide the entertainment. Um, and through the course of the evening, um, I don't I don't want to tell you exactly what happens, but but there are complications that affect everyone in the audience as well. Oh, perhaps um, perhaps so old to, grievances surface. Yes, mm-hmm. you could say, um, and uh, they have to work together to kind of save the day and save the party and and uh, then you you were you are two of the two three of the four, four two of the four okay yep, yep. just right. uh four girls um really uh groovy crunchy harmonies um lots of fun christmas arrangements jazz uh standards and and stuff like that um yeah, yeah. with some really cute dances and it's just a feel good uh, holiday show that's good for the whole family. Tell me about your characters. So I play Missy, who is um, kind of the overachiever, um, very organized uh, leader of the group. Um, she's a, a high school or a elementary school teacher by day, um, and yeah. So I'm I'm kind of trying to keep everybody on track. Um, and one of the girls, um, Betty Jean, who is not here this morning, um, but she's very much a cloud a clown and kind of rambunctious. And um, so I'm I'm kind of trying to keep. T- on her keep her in line time. yeah probably keep her from drinking too much yeah uh, yeah yes. <laughs> you know i How haven't did even you know, Dennis? I, haven't, I haven't even seen this show but i already have this mental image yes. of uh of what is it? how about you Lindsay? Uh, i play Susie, and Susie is a homemaker and she is pregnant she's just had a set of twins she and her husband richie have just had a set of twins and so she's pregnant um and says that one of her lines is that she hasn't slept in six months. And so she she's a bit delirious and a bit kooky. Um, she she loves Christmas so much, just like genuine, unbridled enthusiasm <laughs> all over the place. Um, so a lot of the show, there's a lot of running and jumping. I was realizing the other day we were singing something. I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm really tired. Um, but Good yeah, thing she, you aren't pregnant for real. For real. I know. Yeah, I'm, for sure. I'm excited. <laughs> to start working in that that suit that will be a fun adventure pregnancy belly yes <laughs> belly um so but she she does she just she loves christmas and and she loves the the girls that are there and so that's, like i said just lots and lots of of energy and excitement Lindsay everywhere. also gets an excellent tap number so <laughs> you'd like oh, to see a tap that, dancing ooh. pregnant lady <laughs> pregnant so lady tap Pregnant lady tap dance yeah, number. Yeah, in a snowflake outfit. Come see us. You will have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it, yes. <laughs> um, and, of course, you, you said that it's Christmas standards that we'll hear, but some new arrangements, a lot of close harmony. Yeah. Uh, yes. I know that you both have, uh, uh, you know, have, have uh, you know, extensive singing backgrounds, but that's always kind of challenging. It, it definitely is. I would say this, for me, is probably the most music-heavy show I've ever done. Um, there's, like, 25 songs in in the show. Um, so it's a challenge, but it's it's going to – we're working yeah, hard. Yeah, we're working and hard, and it's, it's going to be great. It's sounding good. I know our sweet music director, every other day or so, I'm like, oh, hey, can you go over this with me? Please, thank you. <laughs> what's, your, um, what's, what's your strategy for learning those parts? How do you – what's your what's your memory tricks? Repetition. And I say this because I, yeah. I just <laughs> – I just I just finished a show and had to you know I had I had I had the music director recording stuff for me I was listening in the car yeah I yeah. was listening when I was out jogging yeah <laughs> for me it's all about figuring out how my part fits in with the chords and how things are changing underneath and a lot of times I I work best in the rehearsal room with other people mm-hmm. hearing it's like okay this chord is gonna be dissonant and it's with Cindy Lou and I and I just and I need know to hear what her part is gonna be so mm-hmm. I can figure fi- yeah I. Same deal. I like to kind of find out what my my part sounds like on its own, but then it's a whole new ball game when you throw other other people in there. And and for me, it's it's doing doing it enough and singing the correct pitches enough that it becomes muscle memory. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And me. of course, you got to you got to throw in. It sounds like a dance heavy show too, so you got to throw me that too. in. There's quite yes. a bit of yeah. movement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
Yes. Um, and it appears that perhaps there's a little audience participation or audience involvement too. Yes. Nothing now, again, too, again, we don't want to we don't want to spoil anything, will, but. Yes. But there, there are some opportunities for some fun for a few people in the audience. <laughs> well, it sounds like so. You know, it just sounds like a lot of fun. Had either of you heard of this show before it uh, showed up on the? Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, this is um, so the the original show is the Marvelous Wonderettes, and in that oh. high school prom, right? Their high school oh, prom, okay. and then the fast flashes forward ten years um, to their high school reunion. So this is the Christmas version. Okay, um, all right. Uh, which is how so it's like, so it's like to... nonsense in that there's been you know yeah s- the, yeah several different continuations of yes, the story and, and the characters. relationships stay the same or you're following these characters through through their um their journeys but yeah and you open november 17th and run through december 18th okay <laughs> so right uh right up through the holiday season yeah mm-hmm. sounds yeah. like a sounds like a fun way to get ready for christmas yeah, absolutely so if people want tickets how do they get them uh, you can call the box office at 319-622-6262 or go to oldcreamery.com and right. order online. Lindsay and Katie, thanks so much. Sounds like a blast. Uh, good you. luck with the uh, with the pregnancy belly and <laughs> Thank snowflake you. soup. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, this thanks sounds, for having sounds us. Sounds like a lot of fun. Looking forward yeah. to it. Yes. Thank you.